Next, I'm going to go on to uh, Facebook Wi-Fi. So with Facebook Wi-Fi, um, you just go over here and change your splash page type uh, from a custom splash page uh, to Facebook. And once you do Facebook, um, you click uh, the register the network and then configure Facebook. It will take you into the Facebook login. Um, I'm not logged into Facebook in uh, Safari here, so I'll show you what it looks like. Um, now, you need to have a, um, a, in order to make Facebook Wi-Fi work, you need to have a public um, Facebook page um, that has no age restrictions. And um, once, you, once you have that set up on your Facebook account, um, you click the register, it will take you over to the um, Facebook Wi-Fi settings, and um, you will uh, be presented with this uh, pretty simple page. Um, it will give you um, the, the page you want to associate it with, and then you can choose whether you want them to be able to bypass uh, the, the check-in. Um, now, Facebook doesn't want you to, um, to make people spam the, the news feed, um, so they, there, there is no way um, with Facebook Wi-Fi to require any likes or check-ins. Um, so with Facebook Wi-Fi, um, you can allow them to just skip the check-in and uh, they would see your page and they have the opportunity to like the page. Um, but if they don't want to, they can skip through um, or you can require, require a code um, to get through it. So um, it, you can do that. And you can put your own um, terms of service in here. Um, my terms of service are just don't be stupid. And um, and then the session length here is just like on uh, the cloud tracks where it's the, the forced timeout. That means the, the time of length it takes for them to see that, um, that check-in um, prompt again. Um, you can set that anywhere from 30 minutes all the way up to one day. 